Have you ever wanted to load an amazing looking pre-made custom map on your Rust server? In this article, you'll learn how to put one on your server and configure it properly. By default, Rust generates a so-called procedural map, which is randomly generated upon a given seed, which is controlled by a startup variable server.seed and a specified size controlled by a startup variable server.word size. In case you're looking to do something different than a regular randomly generated map, you might want to explore custom maps. They allow you to load in pre-made maps in order to improve your gameplay. If you have a bit more technical knowledge about Rust map creation, you can even make your own custom map. For the custom map, you're going to need to change your starter variables in the batch file. You can find them in your startup batch file. Let's start with removing server.level, server.seed, and server.world size. They're not needed as custom maps are already pre-made, thus will not require these parameters. The best way to do so is a website called Rust Maps. There you can filter them by sizes, biome percentages, amount and type of monuments, or even amount of islands, caves and mountains. After you find a perfect map for your server, you can go ahead and put it in your custom map URL. In order to do that, you need to include a new startup variable in our startup batch file. The variable responsible for that is minus level URL. After that, you put your custom map URL. Don't forget about the minus at the beginning, or else it's not going to work properly. On a pterodactyl based game server control panel, you can often find a variable in the startup tab that will allow you to simply place the downloadable file link. After you made changes to your startup batch file, save it. If you're done with it, you can restart your server. Don't panic if it takes a bit longer than a normal setup. The server needs to download the map and load it into the files. It takes time. There are two viable options to ensure that all player builds and items stay the same, although these aren't foolproof and may break and cause bugs for some of the progress. You can delete the that map file and ensure that the modified map link has the same map file name. Option 2 is to duplicate the .sav file and change the old map file name to the new. 